Hello and welcome back to Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. We're going to be going to the next turn here and seeing what this enemy army is about to do. I assume they're going to try and claim the... Yes, there, there, there we go. They actually uh, claimed the forest. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm actually going to go and I will claim this. I'll claim both of these, actually. And then we'll move on. And I'm actually going to recruit something from here. Let's uh, recruit that. I really do need to get tier 2 buildings. So, I do I have that actually yet? No, I don't, I don't seem to. Or maybe I, maybe I do, but I just don't have enough blood to be able to make that work. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. Because that's going to give me some extra experience. And then I think we're going to go over here. Claim this. Uh, the library. We could get a card from that. We could do some construction. Yeah, I don't really care about that too much. Yeah, so I would like to get more villages if at all possible. So are they just going to follow? Mm -hmm. They're just going to continue following me and being annoying by claiming the territory behind me, which is obviously not very good because that basically cuts us off from our own territory. But I guess we'll see. Lords cost 75% less upkeep. And Lords gain 100% more experience? But Sanguine Stream looks actually really good. Blood income is increased by 10%. We're going to take that instead. Alright, claim a province. Lord gains. Now we're going to go for Sacrifice, I think. Uh, we're also going to take Nightmare. Personally feel like those are really good. Anything that has a zero cost, give it to me. Yes, give it to me. Thank you very much. Okay, so I will be moving back now and we will probably be using the wishing stone give the lord 200 xp heal all units in the army to full health or units in the army gain plus one veterancy i think i'm going to give the lord 200 xp because that will allow us to upgrade something which i very much appreciate so let's upgrade arcane barrier reduce mana cost to four cooldown to one and increase range to 9. Wow. Uh, this is actually pretty cool though as well. The barrier now takes an extra hit before being removed. And once the barrier is removed, the mana cost is refunded. I'm going to take the extra hit. That is very powerful in my opinion. Okay, so let's recruit some more units. And then we'll claim over here. And let's claim the portal, because we haven't actually uh, gotten a portal before. What does it do? Venture into the portal and arrive in a distant place. Aha! So that basically means that we will be uh, going somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, we'll, we'll end up somewhere, I suppose. And I guess what we can do... Hmm. I'm actually wondering what I can do, to be honest. I mean... I don't really have any blood at the moment. That's the main problem. Uh, you could, I could use this. I could use Sacrifice, gain a little bit. And we could also use this, which would allow me to claim a, a nearby territory, which I, I guess I could do... Can I target keeps? Yes, of course, it can't target keeps. That would be way too powerful, but yeah. We should probably use it over here somewhere. Maybe on this village. Yep, there we go. Claim the village. That gives me another extra little bit of blood. And I'm also going to be using Nightmare on this Lord over here. Because I don't want them to have a huge amount of... Uh, well, huge amount of mana next time we actually fight them or anything like that. Let's use Change of Plans, shall we? Shady deal. Shady deal. Alright, well, yeah, I'd like to get to a blacksmith if at all possible. Because as we have seen, blacksmith items are crazy good. They really are crazy good. Okay, it's a close battle at the moment. Mm, I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to win this. But if win goes down, then win goes down. And uh, we'll just take, take, the, uh, take the hit, I guess. We'll just take the hit. Because the other two guys down in the south are doing really, really well. Ooh, look at this. Play cards to rank up. Oh, that... Um, that is actually going to work out quite nicely. Unfortunately, Wynn has only half of his mana still available, which is really kind of bad. But I guess it's okay, because we can use some cards here. Um, I'm going to use Arcane Barrier on him. 
And we're basically just only going to use that. We're just going to use Arcane Barrier every single time. We're just going to use Arcane Barrier. Okay, so what is this? Teleport. What is this? Grants ignore pain, which lets a unit attack... Uh, oh, ignore the attack penalty normally applied while the unit is hurt. That actually sounds really good. So let's move over towards that. And they're going to play Blizzard. Yeah, so this guy is probably going to be playing a huge amount of different cards. But thankfully, because we have drained his mana beforehand, he's really not going to be able to use a huge amount of spells. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how we played that, at least initially. Uh, let's move around about... We need to be careful, by the way, because these guys have charge. And charge does a massive amount of damage if they can charge you in a straight line. So I'm going to be playing offside from him as much as possible because if he can get a straight line towards us we're gonna have some huge problems wow they actually have werewolves are you serious wow that's pretty crazy okay we got the archers round about here as well lightning strike oh okay hello yeah so lightning strikes doing a little bit of damage here okay this guy doesn't really do that much damage at all does he no. Okay, yes, this is fine. Yeah, this is actually fine. I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. We could go for a flank, but then those guys are going to come in and do massive damage to us. We could do it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just completely surround the enemy lord. Being able to eliminate him so that he can't use any more cards would be very advantageous for us. Let's use a f let's do a full flank on the uh, on the knights here. Yeah, I think this is working out much better than I anticipated, but I don't know. The werewolves are going to still come in, and they do a lot of damage, so it might be bad. Not too bad so far, though. If we can just take him out, I will be very pleased with that. Okay, the werewolves are coming in. Oh... That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Those werewolves really know how to hit, don't they? Okay, so let's do another attack here. Boom. There you go. Finally. Okay, so the knights and the riders are dead. That's great. My wolves are now dead as well, unfortunately. And they're not doing that much damage to us, which is fine. Wow. These werewolves are going to be extremely difficult for us to deal with. But I guess what I'm going to do is I will just try and focus on the enemy's, uh, shall we say, lighter units. And then I will try to gang up on the werewolves once we are in that position to do so. I think I actually have enough to be able to use Arcane Barrier on one of these guys. Oh, I, don't, I can't do that yet. I can't actually do that yet. So I could use Essence Clone or I could wait and use Arcane Barrier twice more. I personally feel like I should use that twice more. I think that is just a significantly better uh, ability at this point. Okay, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Not too bad. Mm, we can do a full flank here as well. This seems pretty good. Oh, so much damage to the archers. Uh, I'm going to do damage to the archers, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Because now we can just kill the archers off straight away. And even though my spearman might actually die here, maybe. No, they're still not dying. That's good. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be uh, kind of trolling them a little bit, because I'm going to. What is this? Grants repost. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Let's do that. And uh, how much? Look at this. They. I don't even know. These werewolves literally are extremely powerful. They, they literally don't take any damage whatsoever. It's crazy. Yeah, so anyway. We're going to see if we can just eliminate this. They're just going to guard. That's fine. That's not a problem. Nice. Took him down. All right, so now all we need all we need to deal with is the werewolf group, which is, in my opinion, going to be very tricky to do so. And uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I will just be very careful about who gets low. And then I will 
Oh, that's nice damage win. Good work. Good work, sir. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me... I'm going to play Arcane Barrier on this guy. Because... Uh, oh, I need to play three cards to rank up? I actually thought that I only needed to play two cards. Oh, well. Never mind. I didn't really have enough mana to be able to do that anyway. So I suppose it kind of makes sense. Okay, so we're just going to continue getting flanks on this guy. And... Uh, yeah, thankfully they're not taking any damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you serious? Look at that. He, he, he completely wasted his turn. He completely wasted his turn. I'm actually really surprised. Okay. Well, there you go. That's a victory for us. We did end up losing quite a few units there, unfortunately. Which I think I probably could have avoided if I had more mana. But obviously, having mana is uh, very much a, a case of just having to rest somewhere. And, uh, yeah. Well, can't really do much about it now. But that's the point. We won. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. Okay. Happy with this. We gained some extra experience and we gained a pretty terrible card that I personally don't really care about that much. And uh, we can now go back to the mana. Or I can go forward. Hmm. I'm thinking we might want to get another Lord, to be honest. But I'm also thinking that we want to get some more graveyards and, and things like that okay so let's take a look at what we can go for here okay so i could go for the elites which will give me tier two tier two units which i think might be interesting uh what does this do increase the city's growth by one lord's health blood income by two i mean really i, I kind of need that don't i i kind of need that increase lord's mana regeneration Lord's Mana by 10. Do I... Is there anything else here that is, like, really, really good? Feed Blood. No. Heal Action. Mm. Ah, Keeps give plus two blood points per turn. That actually sounds really good. I could go for that in, in the next three levels. Recruit Action is now free. Well, that's pretty crazy. Okay, now I'm, good. I'm just going to go for the Blood. And then next level, I will go for tier 2 units because I would like to try and save up enough. I mean, look, look at this. There's a limit of 10,000 blood and we currently have 28. I'm pretty awful, aren't I? Pretty awful in terms of my, the amount of blood that I have. So, yeah, it would probably be good to try and um, try and rectify that as soon as possible, potentially. Okay, so let's go over here. And... Uh not sure which way to go. I guess we could go this way and try to uh, cover more ground. Uh, unfortunately, Acheron is not exactly, well, shall we say, that powerful in terms of his army strength at the moment. So, yeah, he might he might come across some problems. Aha! Hello. How many do they have in their army? I don't currently know that. But yeah, you can see here that he's going to try... Yes, look at that. He's going to try and take our blacksmith, which I am not a big fan of. But there's not much I can do about that at the moment. He only has a very small army, as you can see as well, which is not really a big deal. So I guess what I'm going to do is I will take this. I'll do a wishing stone and we'll do... Oh, yeah, that is fantastic. Look at that. Plus four action points. Yes, give me that. That will enable me to uh, spread throughout the Nosfernus um, area here and just completely go crazy. So let's get... Uh, let's, let's go and claim some more stuff. There we go. Crazy amounts of stuff being done right here. And now let's have a look what's going on here. Okay, so let's claim this. And there's a prison here as well. This is interesting. Okay, well, what else do I want to do? Cleanse, stalk. I guess I'm going to do Essence Clone, because I personally feel like Essence Clone is the other thing that is really, really good for him. The clone gains Sacrifice. What does that do? When this unit dies, it restores 10 mana to its Lord. That's actually amazing. Yeah, I'm going to take Essence Clone for the Sacrifice. I think that sounds really, really powerful. And we will also now go for Claiming the Prison. We've now ranked up. Let's get Tier 2 Elites. And then we can move around with our other fellow here. 
Yeah, looking good, looking good, nice. Okay, I'm very, very pleased about how we're doing this so far. Um, obviously, we are going to start losing a couple of places here, which is bad. Yes, admittedly bad, but that's okay, because we have a number of, of lords that are much, much better than this guy, at least in my opinion. Okay, so let's see. Should I do a construction here? I think I will. Let's get some additional housing for this village. And then we'll move on. Because obviously it doesn't take an AP, it doesn't take any action points to be able to do that. Inspect the prisoners. Let's actually have a look. Oh, hello there. I can actually get some extremely powerful units this way. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. Okay, let's see here. Um, what can I do? I can get Dracul Riders or I can get Gargoyle Agitators. What is this? This is a crazy unit. Buying it, buying it, buying it. Oh yes, I am definitely buying that. Thank you very much. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so let's continue to move on. And we've got another village here. Can't claim it yet. And we can unlock our final ability, which is Blood Barrier. And then we can do some other stuff here. We can take this keep, which I think I will definitely do. There we are. And now we can actually recruit something from here, which I think I will want to do. Unfortunately, I don't have enough blood to be able to get Dracul Half-Bloods. So I think what I'm going to do is I will literally just wait here for some time. I think what I'm going to do is just heal. Because uh, I think I do need to do that a little bit. So I will just heal. And uh, we'll see what the Nosfernus decides to do. They're going to go over to my city, aren't they? I would assume they would probably do that. Expand your kingdom by capturing provinces. Well, that's what I'm currently doing, so I guess I might as well take that. And otherwise, what do we have? Tier 1 units cost 25% less to recruit. Gain 8 blood after combat. All units cost 10% less to recruit. Gain 5 blood... Yeah, yeah, we'll take that one. That sounds about right. Okay, so now we can select three cards. Give target army plus one AP and restore this. Trigger a draw phase with five cards. Choose two, two of them. Drain 20 mana. I'm always going to take that in my opinion. Target enemy army cannot perform any action on the next turn. Ooh, that is pretty insane. Okay, I'll definitely take that. And we will probably also take revitalize. Oh yeah, I'm going to be playing Blood Curse on this guy. Yes. Boom. You can't do anything, sir. You can't do anything now. Oh yes, that is going to be super funny. Okay, so let's just claim this village. And we'll also claim this, because we're catching up to that guy, if you haven't noticed already, by the way. Okay, so I think I'm also going to play Nightmare on him. So it drains his mana. And I think we'll then start moving over this way. And we'll probably take this first. Uh, shall I use Revitalize here? Yeah, why not? Oh, I actually just made a mistake there. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. It's absolutely fine because now we can get... I can't get these? Oh, yeah, I can't get these because I actually need to... <laughs> yes, I need to build the thing, don't I? Yes, I need to build the thing. Okay. So let me actually just build this. And then I will build this. And then I will basically just heal up. And should I, should I build anything? Uh, no, I can't build anything else. I could recruit some things. I guess I'll just recruit some more spearmen. And... I could go over here, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to end the turn. Look at that. There aren't... Look at that. There, there is basically no clans left. There are no clans left. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. This guy is coming over to us. Okay, yeah. Acheron, I'm so sorry, but it seems like you are going to die. I'm going to just auto-resolve it. There doesn't seem to be, in my opinion, any reason why I would go in against that fellow. Don't worry, though, because I can get him back for a cost of 20 blood, which is really not that bad. That is not that bad at all. And let's recruit some people. So let's get some Dracul Half-Bloods here. 
I'm going to go a bit crazy on recruiting these guys. I think that they are going to be significantly good for us to do. Uh, let's uh, claim this. And there you go. Quest has now been completed because we actually captured and expanded our kingdom, which is very nice. And uh, there we go. That's, that's perfectly fine with me. All right. Is there anything else that I want to build here? No, I could build some extra stuff. Um, well, what do they currently have, though? That's the point. Uh, ah, they, yeah, they need some growth increases. So I will go for uh, one of these. Doesn't really matter which one I take. And let's see what's happening here. Because obviously Vlad is our powerhouse. He is an absolute powerhouse, isn't he? So we should be able to... I, I can attack them. I can attack them straight up. Should I do that? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> it might be working. Uh, yeah, I, I think I might. I think I might. Should I? I mean, he's got 124. We have 155. I think we can pretty easily destroy this guy. As it says, likely victory. I mean, obviously, that doesn't really tell us anything, really. But I think... I think we'll have a pretty good time here. And this is one of the stronger clans that we've fought so far. This is probably going to be a very, very big battle. And we're hopefully going to be able to achieve something rather dramatic with this. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that I... Oh my. Are you serious right now? This is some insane stuff for Vlad to gain. Unfortunately, the enemy's aspiration is really, really easy for them to get. Receiving damage is much easier than using lifesteal and things like that, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just how it is. Okay, so I've got some archers. I've uh, got some spearmen. There we go. Let's just place them around about like that. He's going to start using things already? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Not entirely sure why he would decide to do that. Because he's... I, I personally feel like he's wasting his mana. What has he just given them? Terror. Adjacent enemy units have minus 20% attack. Yeah, for four turns. Okay. Don't know whether that's really going to make any difference, sir, but okay. Uh, that's a unit gain 15. Whoa. Yeah, I see. Okay, well, that's actually not going to really help us because I'm really going to be attacking with Vlad much more than anything else. Uh, yeah, now this is the thing about the Nosfurnus units. Nosfurnus are... They're, they're very low HP. Let's just say that. They have very low HP values, but they have a lot of units, generally, and they have a lot of utility in those units. And uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens, because I personally don't think they're going to be that difficult, but they do have a Spectral Knight. I think the Spectral Knight is going to be quite tricky to deal with. So we'll see how that goes. But I have a Gargoyle, which is also very di difficult to deal with. Gargoyle has 60 armor, which is absolutely crazy. Alright, so let's just use, move these guys up here. Alright, so the Spectral Knight, he's going to charge at us, which is to be expected. I don't have a problem with that, to be honest. What is Shadow Cloak? Gain evasive and spell immune. Two turns? What? What? Okay, let me let me actually just see what that is. Cannot lose more than 33% health when attacked. Wow. That is a very powerful ability. That is an extremely powerful ability. Okay, well, uh, I personally don't really mind about that. I can literally kill the enemy lord instantly with Vlad. If I want to. Uh... <laughs> uh... Right. Well, this is actually kind of hilarious. Um, I could just literally move here. Uh, should I just attack? Should I, I, I think I should probably just kill him. Right? I mean, the enemy lord is kind of annoying, so I guess I'll just get him out of the way. Boom. 
Oh my, are you serious? Yeah, this is what I mean. Vlad is just so incredibly powerful. Yeah, we're gonna use, we're gonna lose some spearmen here. That is to be expected. Nothing really to worry about, though, in my opinion, uh, because Vlad is just going to literally murder. He's going to murder everything. Okay, so we've got these guys. Uh, you know, we can do this. We can do that. We can do this. Okay, I think I'm just going to attack here. There we go. Now, it is a pretty big mistake uh, for the opponent to attack my lord. Because he he retaliates on every single attack and he gains 50% of, of the damage done that he, he de that he deals, that is, as health. And as you can see, he's basically full HP still. They are surrounding him, which is exactly what I wanted, by the way. It is exactly what I wanted for them to surround him, because he is going to do... Well, I'll show you. I'll show you what he's going to do. He's going to do Bloodstorm. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's exactly the reason why you don't want to surround Vlad, because he is just a monster. He is quite literally a monster. Okay, so... I guess we'll just attack. Bear in mind that most of my units are actually tier 1. They do have good veterancy, but they are mostly tier 1, so... Just bear that in mind. Let's try and kill these guys if we can. Can I... Oh, I can't reach them from here. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? I guess I should have moved my other archers next to the other ones. That probably would have made more sense. Yeah, let's move my gargoyle over there. I, I, you know what I should have also done? I probably should have moved my gargoyle into the center. That would have been the the way to go because the gargoyle is literally one of the most powerful uh, and hard to kill units. Okay, so let's just uh, block off the spectral knight and uh, basically try and make it so that it can't it can't escape. Pretty much. Uh, actually, wait a minute. It has spectral, doesn't it? I think it has ethereal or something like that. Yeah, it has ethereal. Basically, what that move that means is that it can move through enemy units. Um, it can move through every unit, basically. So that actually <laughs> makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, that makes all the difference. Oh well, uh, you shouldn't have done that, sir. You should not have attacked the gargoyle. That was a big mistake on his part. Okay, let's try and kill. I could do drain life. Wait a minute. Hmm, he's, he's out of range. Okay, I guess I'll just kill these death cultists then. Oh, wow. Are you really attacking Vlad? Oh, you silly. You are silly. You're an absolute silly. Oh my. That, uh, that did not work out too well for them, did it? No, not at all. All right. Well, we can now attack with our Dracul fellows. Can I do, uh, I still can't do lifesteal for some reason. Uh, I could do drain life against him. But I don't think I can. Okay, let's do lifesteal uh, with these guys. And then just get, like, a huge amount of lifesteal from that. There we go. Now we've also gained regeneration, which, again, is not really necessary. Let's face it, Vlad doesn't really need ad additional regeneration. But I'm perfectly happy with it. Okay, let's get both my archers moved up. And who are we up against here? A wraith. Yeah, a wraith. Oh, interesting. You should not attack Vlad, though, sir. Yes. <laughs> Attacking Vlad is probably not the best idea. Uh, I'm just going to skip the turn with these guys, I think. And then we'll just go with these guys instead. Okay, so this guy actually has... Aha! He has magic protection. Okay, so because we have... Um, uh, an item that turns our attack into magic, which ignores all armor, um, people with magic protection are obviously, obviously going to take less damage. So that is actually good to know. Ah, uh, well, that's not too bad. Lord, we obey. There we go. Full flank. That's probably going to be a kill. There we go. Nice. 71 damage. And there you go, a victory for us. We lost, what, one unit, I think? We lost one unit. I think that's pretty good.
And we have eliminated one of their strongest armies in the process as well, which basically makes it possible for us to uh, destroy their uh, smaller army and then uh, continue on to claim many of their other areas. Yeah, so there you go. We lost one unit, which is really not a big deal. Um, but the main problem was that uh, Acheron is now dead, so I have to recruit him again, which is unfortunate. But that's okay, because we're gaining 26 blood per turn, which is actually quite significant. Okay, so we have one point available. What are we going to do? I guess we might go for tier 2 units and armor and initiative being increased. We might want to go for something like that. I'm not seeing it. Ooh, blood rush. Gain 1 AP after winning a battle. That actually seems really, really good. We probably want to take that at some point. But unfortunately, uh, it's going to take me a long time to get there. So instead, I'm just going to go and try and get uh, the tier 3 units unlocked, I suppose. Because we're going to be earning quite a bit of blood going forward here, I suppose, as well. So let's go to the next turn. There are only 5 or 6 clans available still. Or are still in the game. Okay, this guy's going to be kind of annoying, isn't he? Yes. Okay, uh, recruit more units, I guess. All right. So, can I catch up to this guy? I think I can catch up to him, but I'm going to need to basically ignore... Hmm. I'm going to have to ignore capturing my provinces back. So, we're going to have to do that. What does he have? 91. He's got Skeleton Champion. He's got... What? He's got some crazy units. He's got some crazy, crazy units. Okay. This might be problematic for me. Actually. Certain victory. Should I just auto-resolve? Let's auto-resolve and see what happens. What? Okay. Yep. Certain victory is definitely the way to go. That was a crazy, crazy instant win. Okay. Happy with that. Very happy with that. And now that means that what I can do is I'm going to actually uh, build some more upgrades for this city here. Because I think this one's probably not going to get taken that easily, personally. And we're going to just move on. Uh, I could get another Lord, or I could get Acheron back. I think I'm probably going to get Acheron back, and I'm going to summon him around about here. Because this is exactly where we want him to be. He's going to recruit some more people next turn as well. And I guess we'll probably just take the forest. There we go. We're almost to rank 15, by the way. What is our win condition, by the way? Ah, yes. Gather a thousand blood before turn 160. I'm actually not sure what turn we're on at the moment. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, so Acheron, he's going to be recruiting, but I do need to build some things first. So let's build, uh, let's build this. And thankfully, it's not going to use AP or anything like that. Let's build this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's a bit problematic, though. That's a bit problematic. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my AP to build some upgrades for the village over here. Because I don't actually have enough blood to be able to get tier 2 units, and those are the ones that I kind of want to get. Okay, so, um, he can, he can, ah, he needs to heal, doesn't he? Yes, he needs to heal quite a bit, so let's actually just do some healing with him. And then we have Win over here as well, so we should probably continue on here. And we could do some upgrades, I guess. Claim it. There we go. Nice. Another upgrade point. And now we can get tier 3 units. And that is great. That is actually really, really nice. Okay, so now Vlad can move. He's just going to be reclaiming our lost provinces. And uh, yeah, we have... Yeah, there's only four enemy clans remaining, which is fantastic. Okay, so blood from feeding is increased, clanning speed gain is reduced, blood income is increased by 10%. Yeah, we're going to take this. It sounds really good. Four units in an army, including Lord, lose 30% of their current health. Ambush seems really powerful, in my opinion. We'll take that. Town portal is also pretty good, but I don't think it's necessary for us to take it. Craft. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
we'll take that and we'll take blood preparations as well because the blacksmith i'm actually going to be going into right now and i would like to claim it and then use this on it and now let's have a look this is vlad right yeah this is vlad so we probably want to get him uh we don't really need this uh we could get 15 mana magic protection does he already have magic protection i don't think he does Does he? Let me actually just have a look here real quick. He doesn't. Okay, this is uh, this is absolutely insane. To give him to give him this is it's just crazy. Does he have it yet? I'm not I'm, I'm not entirely sure when it updates. That's the point. I'm not entirely sure when it updates. Maybe when I de deselect him or something. Yeah, there we go. When I deselect him. Obviously, this is still a beta, so there are still some things to uh, to be polished and stuff, but anyway, uh, yeah, I think uh, this graveyard is not claimed, so technically I should go and claim that, but I'm not going to do that right now because I would like to try and uh, head off anyone that wants to come in from the bridge. That's going to be a good idea, and I think I'll just do a little bit more building here. And what's going on in the forest, by the way? Aha, yes. Ah, this is... Ooh, this might be really, really powerful for us here. You can get werewolves from this place. Okay, yeah, I think I'm probably going to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to build this first. And then we're just going to wait a couple of turns, I suppose. Aha. Uh -huh. Elizabeth might be coming in here. Nope. Nope, she's not deciding to do that. Okay, let's actually just take a quick look with clairvoyance. All right, so... Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Hello there. Hello. This is this is problematic. She's got basically about the same combat strength that I do. And uh, yeah, we might be having some issues with that in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.